from Feltham to Feltham at this time. Once again, I want to come to consider certain relevant issues at this time for ourselves here in Feltham, in fact, for ourselves uh, in this nation. One of the things that has happened during this time has been the, uh, a, a greater awareness of death among uh, us generally in the population. Now, immediately you may think, well, this is just going to be an incredibly uh, morbid thing to think about, even for me to present to you. However, I, I do want to bring before you that this is actually such a great opportunity for us. The thing is, in the society in which we've lived for many years now, that we've almost had a denial of death. Funerals have not been places where we've acknowledged death, but where we've just celebrated life. I see something good in that, but the continued denial of death has been a denial of a reality. In the present time, then, we are led to think more about death. Often we're looking at the statistics to see uh, how many people have actually died today as a result of the coronavirus. The reason why I want to say that we can use this time to our advantage is that this teaches us of the reality of our uh, mortality. We chase around in life after so many things uh, and and well, what do we find in the end? We find emptiness. The truth of the Bible is, and the truth of the of the, of the statistics is, man is appointed once to die, and after that, the judgment. We are in this world for a limited amount of time. The fact that we are made aware of death more closely at this time has not altered the fact that we are all appointed to die. It's just made the reality more apparent to us. So I want us just to really think about this situation at the moment and actually make good use of it. Because if we make good use of it, we will realise that we have to prepare for what is the biggest event that we will face. We have to prepare. Prepare to die. Prepare to meet our God. Well, the arrival of the coronavirus may, for some have brought death closer. I, for example, have had a friend who died last week, somebody I was very close to, who died as a result of the COVID-19 virus. And these things are, are, are very real. So how are we going to respond? I want to respond by presenting to you the greatest good news about triumph over death. We're coming up to Easter now, and Jesus Christ has come into the world to conquer death. Death is is an unnatural thing in so many ways to humanity. It's come because of sin and it shouldn't be here. And we're all sinners and we all have offended God and we all turned away ourselves from God. And we need to think about the God who is and how we can have life through him because life is not found in the pursuits of this world. The life is found in the pursuit of God and God has revealed himself and he is a God who is not distant because Jesus Christ has come. He died to take away our sins on the cross. He has risen so that we can have life. Death is finished in Jesus Christ. So for the Christian, we have no need to fear death because we look to Jesus Christ and he has conquered death. So in our death denying culture, we have been reminded and are being reminded at the moment that death is such a such a real real issue the statistics are pretty grim aren't they 100 percent those who are born are those who die and that's for each of us and i just want to present to you the great hope that's found in jesus christ so dear felton from felton to felton at this time